The General Flakes example is about advertising, allocating advertising dollars among different TV commercials. Why don't we pause the video and take a moment to read the problem. Okay, are you ready? A cereal company, General Flakes, wants to take out some TV ads to advertise Fiber K, a low-fat, high-fiber breakfast cereal. Some TV shows charge more than others, and some bring in more audience than others. The data for the five shows under consideration are given in this table. For example, let's take a look at American Idol. One episode of American Idol is seen by 7 million men between the ages of 18 and 49, that is, younger men, and 2 million men, 50 years or older, 10 million women, 18 to 49, and 6.8 million women, 50 or older. So if I were to add up all these numbers, uh, I get a total audience uh, of 25.8 million. So if you place the serial ad on one episode, it will be seen by this many people. And now to reach this many people, how much do you need to pay? It says here $475,000. The costs of these ads shown here are basically real data. At least they were at the time I looked them up. But also the total audience reached for each show came from real data. The breakdown among different demographics, well, I didn't have that detail, so that part I just made up. Now, to count the number of people reached by an ad, we use the term exposures. And we assume the exposures are additive, so that if American Idol's exposures is 7 million among the younger men, then if we place two ads on American Idol, that is, if we place ads on two episodes, of American Idol, then the exposures among younger men would be 7 times 2, or 7 plus 7, you know, 14 million. Now, for each of these four viewer groups, there's a certain number of exposures the company would like to reach. For younger men and younger women, they want to reach at least 65 million each. And for older men and older women, they want to reach at least 20 million each. Now, why is such a difference? Are older people less important to the company? Maybe they tend to eat more healthy cereal anyway, so that that market segment is pretty saturated. Or maybe they are not worth as much because they have fewer remaining years to eat the cereal. Well, I don't know. From reading the problem, it's pretty clear what the decision variables should be. The company wants to know how many ads to place on each of these five shows, so there should be five distant variables. And the suggested variable names are given right here. So we will say, let AI, SF, TO, SM, LO be the distant variable names representing number of ads to place on the respective shows. You know, American Idol, Sunday Night Football, The Office, 60 Minutes, and Law and Order. Now, what is the objective? The company wants to minimize the total cost while meeting these exposure requirements. For each show, the cost should be the price of one ad times the number of ads. For example, suppose you take out five ads on American Idol, that is, by ad time on five episodes. Then what would be the cost of this? So let's say, suppose AI is five, number of ads placed, you know, American Idol is five. Then the cost from this will be 475, that's the cost for one ad, times 5 is 2,375. Now, if you remember, that is in thousands of dollars. It would be like $2.375 million. Now, what will be the exposures uh, from this, like maybe to the first group, uh, men 18 to 49? So men 18 to 49, uh, exposures would be 
Well, it's seven million per episode. So five episodes will translate to seven million times five. So seven times five is thirty-five uh, million. Now this is not quite sixty-five million, but maybe you can buy ads on some other shows too. In general, the objective would be to minimize the total cost. Which should be the sum of the costs of the ads from the five shows. So it should be the unit cost times the number of ads plus unit cost times the number of ads and so forth. So it'd be 475 times number of American Idol ads plus 340 times the number of Sunday Night Football ads, 179 number of office ads, 122 times number of 60 minutes ads. Finally, 105 times the number of law and order ads. What about the constraints? Well, we want to reach at least the minimum required exposures for each group. So for men 18 to 49, we want to reach at least 65 million, for instance. So you want something like this for each group, actual number of exposures must be at least the minimum required, so greater than or equal to minimum required. Let's take a look at the first group, men 18 to 49 years of age. We saw before if we buy five ads on American Idol, then the exposures for the, this group is seven times five so the exposure per one ad times the number of ads. So it would be seven times AI will be the exposures reached by AI ads on American Idol. And then and we could obtain exposures from advertising in other shows too. So we would add the exposures reached by advertising on all the TV shows. So it's the sum of these kinds of terms. So it's 7 times AI plus 14 times SF. So that would be the exposures from advertising on Sunday Night Football plus 2 times TO plus 5 times SM plus 1.9 times number of ads in law and order. So all this would be the actual exposures among men ages 18 to 49. And that is on the left hand side, and on the right hand side we will have the minimum required exposure, 65. So we follow the same pattern for all the other groups, all the rest, so let's write those down. We have here men, 50 plus, 2 times AI plus 5 times SF plus 1 times TO, plus 5 times SM, plus 1 times LO, which so should be greater than or equal to, right here, 20. Then women, 18 to 49. And women, 50 plus, same pattern. And it looks like that's it for the constraints, except we got to tack on the non-negativity constraint. So it's A I S F T O S M L O. So all the variables have to be greater than equal to zero, of course. So just to make sure we understand what these things mean, let's try plugging some numbers. Here's a possible feasible solution. Let's say let's say we buy five ads on American Idol and eight ads on 60 minutes SM and nothing on others zero ads on on the other three shows would be something like this AI is five SF is zero TO is zero SM is 8 and LO is 0. 
plugging in these numbers. Um, first, the total cost. Then the total cost will be 475 times 5 plus then we have 0 here, 0 here, then here we have 8 and 0 here. So it'd be 0 plus 0 plus 122 times 8 plus 0. That's 2375 first term, and this term is 976, adding to 3351. Now let's check if this actually satisfies all the requirements. For men 18 to 49, it will be 7 times 5 plus 0 plus 0 plus 5 times 8 plus 0 is 7 times 5 is 35 plus 40, so that's 75. And is this greater equal to 65? Yes. And older men, 2 times 5 plus 0, 0, 0 plus 5 times 8 plus 0 gives us 10 plus 40, that's 50. And is this greater equal to 20? Yes. Uh, then women, 18 to 49, 10 times 5 plus, right over here, 2 times 8 plus 0 is, is 50 plus 16 gives us 66. That's definitely at least 65. And last, older women is 6.8 times 5 plus 3 times 8 is 34 here. 24 here gives us 58, definitely greater equal to 20. So we would say this solution is feasible in that it satisfies all the constraints. Now we don't know if this is the best solution, since we don't know that the cost of 3351 is a minimum possible cost. There might, there might be some other solution that gives us lower total cost. Uh, soon we'll learn how to actually find the optimal solution by using Excel.